Hi everyone, I'm Gina from tinyhome.tours and today we are at Uncharted Tiny Homes in Phoenix, Arizona and I'm going to give you guys a tour of their custom model they have here called The Mansion. So we're going to get started in the bathroom area. We have a full shower in the corner here and then right across from it there's an entire washer and dryer set which is really cool and convenient. And then a little closet right above it. As you can see it's pretty much the same size bathroom as you would find in like a small apartment, a standard home size. You have the sink, the medicine cabinet, and then right under the sink you've got your storage. So this unit drains directly to a septic system. There are no holding tanks in here. So we have a standard toilet, not a composting toilet. So what that means is all of your shower water, all of your kitchen sink or soapy dish water can all be drained directly to the septic or straight to the ground. Moving into the kitchen area, we, we go through the living room and then moving into the kitchen area, this is my personal favorite part. It looks just like a small apartment. I mean, there is way more space here than there is in our 32 foot RV. You've got some really good countertop. My favorite part is the sink. It is huge. So most of them are not equipped with dishwashers. So they do put a full size standard sink in here which is definitely really great. Then you also have your four burner stove top and oven as well. And then you've got a ton of storage in your kitchen for pots, pans, food, more cupboards all the way over here. And like I said, you have a ton of counter space as well. And something that really stands out to me with this entire model in general is just how good quality it is. So the countertop, it's real wood. The wall is real wood. It's just much better quality than most RVs that you're going to find. In the corner here, we have our fridge and freezer. Again, bigger than what you're going to see in a motorhome for the most part, a smaller motorhome. It's more the size of like a standard house refrigerator. And then we have the dining table for two. If it's just two of you living in here, then this is the perfect size table. Now I wanna head upstairs and show you guys the main loft area. We are up in the main loft area. It's pretty spacious actually for a loft, which is really cool. It's pretty cozy up here. You have windows on either side. Um, there's even room for a little nightstand on either side and you can sit up all the way. I mean, I'm pretty short, so it's not an issue for me, but even if you're a taller, the way that the roof is made, you definitely have a little bit of space up here. So as you walk down from the main loft area, you'll notice how there's a TV right here. Um, perfect viewing from the couch and even the kitchen area. Right above the washer, dryer, and bathroom space, there is a second smaller loft. So we're gonna go check that out. It's definitely about, I'd say, half the size of the main loft, but it's perfect for even if you have kids or if you have guests over. You could even put a little bit of a bigger bed up here if you wanted, but the twin is perfect. You can put pillows on the back and also use it as a reading lounge space. So it's really nice. Think you could live in this? Yeah, definitely. This is awesome, but it's definitely spacious. It honestly is just like a really well-built, small apartment that you can take across the country. My favorite aspect of this tiny home is definitely the quality. That's what stands out to me the most. Just the quality of the structuring, the wood quality. It feels like an actual home with a great foundation just at a smaller scale as opposed to an RV that sometimes isn't made as nicely as something like this is. So it definitely feels stable and secure and it's not going to fall apart when you're driving down the road.